All right, first video log. Um, I have everything set up in science room. I'll give you a quick rundown how it works. You got your variac right here, which is a variable uh, transformer. Now it doesn't transform much over 110. It only goes to like 130. 110 is normal house current. That can tone it down to zero, all the way to 110, 130, etc. Nice little gauge on there. Then we got it runs the output runs to my neon sign transformer, which will turn 5 volts into 500 volts. Let me think here. I think I did that right. And 110 volts into uh, 11,000 11, volts out of this transformer. Now, when I finally put the diodes in and get her wired down to DC, it's going to be half that potential because of something I'm probably not going to explain. Then that runs to the insulated electrical lead here. So one part goes here, the other part goes to the outside of my chamber. This insulated electrical lead goes inside, inside clear to that grid inside of there. Now, when all the air is pumped out via this line right here to this vacuum pump, I'm probably going to get down to 30 or 20, hopefully, millitor, um, or microns, whatever you prefer. This is the vacuum reader. When I get it down to 30 or 20, I'm going to probably keep the pump on or shut the valve off, depending on how bad my leak rate is. Then I'm going to turn on my neon sign transformer, and we're going to be in business. And that's a quick overrun. Alrighty. kind of moving. <laughs> More on this later. It's probably going to take a while to pump down. Quite a while. But, uh, we'll keep you informed. But, uh, zero volts right I'm going to enter up to... Oh! 11,000 volts. Oh, first light. You see that? That is my grid. First light with uh, with my. You can go ahead, Mark. First light with my uh, AC current. Here we go. Here is zero volts. Look at that. It's doing this weird thing at the end. I guess on the right hand side of your screen. 
don't know what that is, but whatever. It's cool. process and open the valve. I have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Steam the It's shocking me. for about two minutes, three minutes. Um, I haven't started the grid or anything. There doesn't appear to be any deformation stuff my O-ring. The uh, vacuum gauge is hooked up to another thing, uh, number two, instead of number one. And I vacuum grease this and this connection. So, got some new improvements. Get back to you when we get to 100. No. Alright, we're close enough. I'm going to. Or, you're right. So close. I'm going to close the valve. I'm going to close this. Turn this off. It's starting to leak. Since I'm in such a high pressure, I'm going to do it right now. Okay, we're on. 5 volts. 10 volts. No, 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 no. Slow, turn it up. 50 volts. 100 volts. 110 volts. Another 10 volts. Our leak rate is incredible. It was. It's of how efficient it's going to be. So you're going to try to fuse hydrogen to helium, like the sun does. Only instead of using gravity, I'm going to use electricity. I'm pretty sure that the sun isn't fusing hydrogen to helium. Or hydrogen is built into helium? I think it's fusing hydrogen to hydrogen and helium to helium. Well, the point is, when you're doing, performing fusion at uh, 